All right, here we go, guys. This hooked into this first fish of the day. It's probably about a one and a half, maybe a two pounder. Right here is the uh, Max Tackle Shaky Head, the Shaky Bomb. We're throwing a Robo Worm, a pink Robo Worm, and we're gonna let this one go, and we'll get back to you with some more. Here we go guys, probably about another two pounder, here we go again, throw on that Max Tackle Shaky Head, the Shaky Bomb, again with that pink Robo Worm, with the second fish, probably, last one was probably ten minutes ago, so, not bad, a little chunky, um, we're going to get this one back and we'll get back to it some more. Alright guys, here we go, just hooked in this little short fish, but it's probably about a one and a half pounder with the belly. Oh, we're throwing a Max Tackle Shaky Head, the Shaky Bomb, on a Nep Bait Team Mac Party Magic uh, color. This right here, kind of like an Okeechobee Cross. We're doing really good on this right now. We're going to let this one back and we'll get back to you with some more. Alright guys, this hooked in this absolute giant of a fish. What a donkey. Oh my gosh. Here we go. The Max Tackle Shaky Bomb. Look at that fish, folks. It, oh, that is just a beautiful fish. The belly. Post spawn. Feeding like crazy. Right here. The Max Tackle Shaky Head. The Shaky Bomb. This thing is just deadly. Oh, that's a beautiful fish, folks. Let's get this one back. So we can catch her again. Oh, this is an awesome fish. Alright, here guys, so searching this probably about a one pounder. Here we go again with the uh, Max Tackle Shaky Head, the Shaky Bomb, a Nets Bait, T Mac, and a Hardy Magic color. Just a great color for these uh, dirty water like this. Um, we're going to get this one back and we'll get back here some more. Alright guys, we're going for bass we just searched in this giant crappie. We're throwing a shaky at the Max Tackle Shaky Bomb. <laughs> That's just a huge crappie. I've never even caught a crappie out of this lake, but this is an awesome crappie. We're going to get this one back and get back here with some more. Alright guys, that's a really, that's probably the smallest fish of the day, but still a good fish. Again, throwing that uh, Max Tackle Shaky Head, Shaky Bomb, Net Bait T Mac Finesse Worm, right here. This is just it's great. I mean, this is the seventh fish of the day, and our best five were definitely at 15 pounds. We had that one five, so we're going to get this one back and see if we can upgrade these little guys. Guys, here we go. This is the Max Tackle Shaky Head. This is what we were catching all the fish on today. It's got the hitchhiker up here, so all you do is you take your plastic and you just screw it in and it holds it really well. It holds all size plastics really. Then you just Texas rig it right onto this hook. This is a Mustad needle point hook. Really sharp, real strong, holds holds together real well. And you just Texas rig it. And what really separates this shaky head from all the other shaky heads is the head on this. What it is is it's got that slant right there. So when you're kind of almost dragging it or hopping it a little bit, it stays like this and the worm kind of just floats like that and it's a little floating worm and it kind of floats up at the top like that. Your traditional shaky head will stand up like this and just stand straight up like this. This will do that too if you bounce it more but I like it when it stands like this because it's different. A lot of fish haven't seen where it's flat like this and just the tail up in the air. The bait we're throwing right here is the Net Bait T-Mac. It's the Hardy Magic color right here kind of like an Okeechobee craw. It's got the blue on the bottom with the watermelon flake on the top. Real good color. Um, these, these baits are really good because it's got the uh, salt and pork fat in them so the fish really hold on to it a lot longer. What we're doing here is we're just making a medium to long cast kind of out in the water and we're just kind of, we're working it backwards 
dragging a little bit, but we're making hops, and it'll get that worm to kind of flutter back in the air like that. So we're just hopping it and moving along the bottom, kind of almost, it's kind of like a drag hop. But um, the line we're throwing right here is 15 pound braid. I always throw braid on my uh, spinning reels because um, braid, it's uh, zero stretch, which is really sensitive, and it, you can feel every little bite. But the biggest reason is because when you throw braid, you won't get line twists in your spinning gear, and that's just a real, a real pain for just about everybody. Um, the way I do compact with that when we're in clear water is right here. I have a uh, six-foot fluorocarbon leader. This is Seaguar. This is the red label. This is eight-pound test right here. And we just tie an all bright knot to the uh, braid to the fluorocarbon. It's a strong knot. You're not going to break. You're going to break your line before the knot fails. And there again with the uh, max tackle shake, he had the shaky bomb. If you guys all enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel.